Let us discuss the random sampling. A random sampling is a part of sampling technique in which each member of the population has an equal chance or probability of being chosen to be part of the sample. That is why a sample chosen randomly is meant to be unbiased or fair representation of the total population. Let's have this given situation. A researcher wants to conduct a survey in a certain company with 500 employees about their work experiences. He randomly selected 100 employees to do the survey. So in our given situation, our population is composed of 500 employees and from that 500 employees, we only chose 100 employees as our sample. And based from the sampling technique done, each employee has an equal chance to be chosen as part of the sample because of random selection. We have four types of random sampling techniques and these are the simple random sampling, systematic random sampling, stratified random sampling, and the cluster random sampling. And let us discuss its type of random sampling techniques. The first one is the simple random sampling, which is a random sampling technique where each member of the population has an equal chance to be selected as participant. Here we can use the most commonly used method, which is the lottery method or the feasible method. Let us list down the steps in the lottery method. First one, write the name of each member of the population in a piece of paper. Number two, fold each piece of paper and place in a bowl or any container. Number three, mix and pick randomly the desired number of participants. And so, the names randomly picked or selected from the bowl or container will form the sample group. The second type is the systematic random sampling. So the systematic random sampling is a random sampling technique which considers every nth element of the population with a starting point to pick or select the desired sample and to obtain the starting point we can divide the population by the desired number of sample. Let us list down the steps in the nth method. Number one, assign a number to its member of the population. Number two, determine the starting point by dividing the given population by the desired number of sample. So we have the formula nth is equal to the population divided by the sample. Suppose our given population is 50 and we want only 10 as the number of sample. Then we can obtain 5. So 5 here is our starting point. At the same time, this will be our first member of the sample group. Number 3. From the first sample, which is 5, is keep count by end until the desired number of sample is completed. So 5 being the first sample, then skip count by end, and our end is 5, then after 5 we have 10, we have 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and to complete the 10 samples we have 50. The third type of random sampling technique is the stratified random sampling which is a random sampling technique which purposefully divides a given population into homogeneous group or partition called 
strata. Let's have the steps. Number one, divide the population into smaller subgroups or strata based on the member's shared attributes and characteristics. Number two, compute for the number of sample per strata by dividing the total size per stratum by the total population and multiply the ratio by the sample size. Number three, randomly select the members of the sample from its subgroup using the lottery method. Let's have a sample problem. A researcher wants to get a sample of 30 students from grade 7, section A and section B with 45 and 50 students respectively. How many sample could he possibly get from its section? Let us identify first the stratum and the size of the stratum. So the first stratum is section A with a size of 45 and section B with a size of 50 for a total population of 95. Let us now get the sample per stratum. Let's have first section A. We have 45 divided by 95. So we have to divide the size of the stratum by the total number of population which is 95. Then times 30. So 30 here is our desired number of sample which is equal to 14. So in section A, we have a number of sample which is 14. Then proceed to section B, 50 divided by 95, then times 30, which is equal to 16. So in section B, we can get a number of sample which is 16, or a total sample of 30. The fourth type and the last type of random sampling technique is the cluster random sampling. So the cluster random sampling is a random sampling technique which divides a given population into heterogeneous groups called clusters. The sample will come from all the members of the selected cluster or clusters through a random sampling of several clusters. Let's have an application or a sample of cluster random sampling. Suppose a researcher wants to study the effects of modular distance learning among grade 6 pupils in the town of San Luis, composed of more or less 17 elementary schools. For a practical reason, he may randomly choose one or two schools as his sample for his study, where all the grade 6 pupils in the selected school or schools will be his respondents.